Coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the com he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Nice punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, head 
kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Big kick lands. All right, single collar tie now. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, big punch lands. Big head kick lands. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Oh, he heard a bell with jab. Single collar tie there. Oh, misses with the jab. Good punch, Lance. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice knees to the body here in the clinch. I know you're deceptively fast. I'm gonna look for more knees in the clinch out of you in your next fight. It's a difficult technique to pull off, but to watch this young man land more than one knee to the body is amazing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Back and forth we go! Up the middle. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands the right hand. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big kick lands. All right, so a nice shot. Oh, he hurt. Oh. Oh, nice high kick. Got the single collar tie. Immediately gets the underhook. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Especially because you're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced in the gym. Chin's low. Protect yourself. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Over underhooks here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. That I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missing on the uppercut there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Goes back to that left kick once again. Just missed with the left there. Nice strike. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. And that one was heavy. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. We march on three minutes to go. Lunges forward with a left there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he big comes knee. through with a big knee. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Able to check that kick as well. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him then. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Hit him with the overhead. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Sneaky head kick. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with this beautiful leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, beautiful knee to the head there. He's the taller fighter. We told you that off the top. And certainly used his length well in that situation. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. What a body kick. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He blocks the shot. Wow, huge head kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. 15 seconds. Big head kick. Oh, straight right. What a round. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round.
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. So how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lock that kick to the body. Effective punch there by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Deuce Hood, serves him up. Go get him. Oh. Circling towards the left now. Flip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Straight punch lands. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left. Going orthodox now. Beautiful kick. Leg kick. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Good stick. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Continues with the leg kick. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Clipped him with the right hand there. And he connects there with a the punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Escape DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. 15 seconds to go. Oh, man. 
Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Plus over the top. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Hands up. Visibly limping here. Big kick lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice punch land over the top. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Let's tie that over here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body Good kick. Good kicks there by Lee. Oh, big up. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Hard shots landing on both sides here. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Punch is blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, big shot land. Hands high, hands high. Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region. Oh, huge right hand! What Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. And he landed the right hand there. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, man, 
crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergley out has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.